all right so a very good evening to all of you now uh, there are certain topics which generally nobody talks about or which i feel are important and one of these topic is how to choose between a uh, academic institute and a research institute right so like uh, if you want to pursue a phd you have two options you have academic institute at one hand and then you have a research institute on the other hand right now uh, what to choose and what would be more beneficial to you i can't tell you that but i can keep you i can give you the points uh, which are in favor of each and every uh, in favor of research institutes and in favor of academic institutes and then you can make an informed decision as to what would be the most uh, beneficial thing for you to do right but uh, before that i would just like to tell you that uh, in my experience right the most important thing that matters is its proximity to home now this word one this one particular word home it matters a lot right and in phd there will be days when you will be very frustrated right you will be very frustrated and you would know you you would just want to go home have homely food and you know be around your family and trust me such days uh, come very often when you're doing a phd right so any institute which is near your home will definitely be uh, very vital and if you have the option let's say if you have csr jrf then you can or if you have your own fellowship you can go and apply to various institutes and you can choose which institute you want to go to right unfortunately if you only have gate then whichever institute is offering you its institute fellowship you will have to join that so over there you don't have any option but over here you do have the option so this is my personal suggestion that you should go to an institute which is near your home because nowadays you know if you compare iits you know the top iits the older iits if you compare icers like icer pune icer bhopal they are almost at the same level even the research institutes most of them are at the same level you can't say one is higher at a higher level than the other most of them have now come to a level where you can you know they can compete against one another right so it's not about you know which is a top or in, top institute all of all institutes right now are more or less at an equal platform right it does not matter a lot it it would matter uh, le, let's say in small fractions but it it does not matter in a you know in a in a very major way right so i would i would suggest that you know you should go for institute which is near your home and which is decent as well right you don't have to go for a very b grade institute you have to go for top notch institutes but you know it should be near your home that's what my suggestion is now talking about academic institutes and research institute now fortunately i can talk about this thing because i have had the experience of a research institute as well as a academic institute now the story for that is very long that how how come i have the experience in both the institutes uh, but the reality is i um, i have had the experience of an academic institute and a research research institute as well right now i'm ha having the experience of the academic institute but in the past i had the experience of working in a research institute as well so i can tell you more about the ambience and what kind of things do happen in a research institute so talking about the first point the temperament right so it all depends on your temperament right i am i am just going to tell you the the pros and cons of each and every uh, institute whether it's research or academic right so uh, academic institutes if i have to summarize they lead to overall development of a individual right like you would not just develop your uh, research aptitude you will also develop your teaching aptitude you will also be uh, you know you will also have um, quite a lot of interactions like your communication skills will grow whereas in research institute uh, overall development is a slightly lesser possibility as compared to academic institute in research institute everything is much or more or less focused on research right there is not much of uh, overall development of personality right you are not communicating with a lot of people you are not teaching anyone right so over there you are much much focused on the research so for people who are only interested in research and they think about research 24/7 and they have no other you know uh, you can say hobbies or, or or you can say uh, you know they they try and be introverts and they don't talk to uh, people a lot right they like to be with themselves uh, and they are only focused on research they don't have any extracurricular activities that they like to pursue you uh, for such students i think research institutes are the best right i mean i would suggest everyone should have some extracurricular activities but in general i'm saying if you're too much focused on research and you don't care about anything else in life apart from let's say your family and you, all you care about is family and research then i think research institutes are best for you because over here there are no distractions right but, but if you want an overall development by overall development i mean like sports and cultural events now if you go to academic institute sports and cultural event is a big thing right it happens a lot of festivals are celebrated teachers day independence day republic day they are they are celebrated rated a lot you know children's day because it's academic institute you have students uh, from masters bachelors level as well you know so it, 
it's it's a very lively atmosphere that's why i've written this point over here it's a, it's a lively time it's a lively atmosphere you know all the time it's 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 very lively because you have you, you have youngsters who are working you have bachelor students master students you have freshers you have farewell you know so all these things kind of you know are all of them all, then you have a lot of presentations a lot of cultural e events a lot of debates so all these things you know together when you when you when you combine them it, it is very interesting and, and the atmosphere is very lively whereas in research uh, institute the atmosphere is very dull okay this is what i have experienced and i have some friends in, in research institutes as well like csr and drdo drdo these are the two main uh, like not the main but they are two uh, big research institutes drdo and csir right so over there i have i have friends and even i have also experienced myself that the atmosphere is very dull it's like an office atmosphere you come at nine you go at five you know it's 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 very it's a very dull atmosphere it's it's not lively at all that's what i have felt right uh okay then this lively atmosphere that i'm talking about for some people it might be distract distractions also like uh, i've seen a lot of um, you know a lot of phd students who are in academic institutes who feel you know it's it's a waste of time they all because let's say if you are celebrating freshers you know then then definitely you know uh, faculties and every, every everyone else comes to the lab and tells everyone to go to the auditorium and you know uh, enjoy the festival or enjoy the farewell enjoy the freshers or whatever uh, festival or whatever event they are celebrating right that's the kind of things do not happen in research institutes so those students complain who are in academic institutes that you know it's a waste of time going to the auditorium and sitting for the event right so they feel so but i on one hand i i love such events because you know it it makes you feel it, it gives a very lively atmosphere to the institute but if you are kind of a student who feels that it's very boring or it's a waste of time going to the events and sitting in the auditorium and enjoying the cultural events or whatever the event is going on then for that uh, for, for those students research institute is much better because there are no distractions at all you know there, there are not much uh, events that are celebrated except for the events of national importance like independence day and republic day so obviously the number of distractions is very very le less as come in a research institute the other advantage of a research institute is that the guide over there has more time for you okay because obviously he's only focused on research he does not have any teaching duties at all he does not have to take classes so he's he's focused on research so a guide is focused on research he's focused on building his own profile and that way he will devote much more time uh, to 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 your research as well like for example if you send him uh, a manuscript uh, for checking right so he will take less time as compared to a guide from the academic institute because a guide from the academic institute has a lot of other duties a lot of other teaching duties a lot of other admin administrative duties you know he he might be given a job to organize an event right so over there in the academic institute your guide is very very busy right so he might take a lot of time to edit your manuscript or whatever you have submitted to him he would have lot a uh, very less time to discuss about your research as compared to a guide from a research institute so that is one major major advantage of a research institute as well and uh, so yeah these are the some of the m most important points that uh, uh, you know the, the most important differences between a research institute and an academic institute and you know some examples like i was saying drdu and csir there are a lot of restrictions in these institutes depending on how sensitive how uh, what kind of work is going on in them right so most of the research institutes carry out a very sensitive work as well which is of national importance which needs to be kept a secret like for example drdo it does a lot of things which are quite secretive so over there there are a lot of uh, restrictions for uh, the jrfs right and the srfs as well basically the phd students like for example if you talk about drdo delhi over there laptops and mobiles are not allowed right you cannot work on laptops and mobiles so whatever work you have on the laptop you need to do it after you know coming back from the institute and they have strict timings you cannot work after seven even after even if you have to work after six o'clock uh, you need to take special permission from guides or someone uh, someone else from the scientist over there right so there are a lot of restrictions over there similarly depending on which csr you are working on there are a lot of restrictions you know um they check each and every aspect of your laptop in csr labs generally laptops are allowed but there are still a lot of restrictions so in some labs they are not even allowed laptops right and mobiles also those you know the the non-android ones the the nokia 
Nokia mobiles, you know, the old Nokia mobiles which do not have any feature, those kind of mobiles are allowed. So there are a lot of restrictions which come in these says in, in these uh, research institutes because of the uh, sensitivity of the work that is going on in them, right? Whereas no such restrictions are there in the academic institute. So that, that way academic institutes are much more chill. And one thing that I would like to add is if you're joining academic institute, right, go for a bigger institute, go for a university or a, or a bigger institute, which has a lot of departments, because if you go for a small academic institute, Institute, then you know it's it's basically probability uh, during your PhD you would need some kind of companions or some kind of friends who would you know who you would like to have healthy discussions with whom you can share your problems and you know uh, and in PhD you don't have much time to talk on the phone so you would need some personal uh, you know personal help or personal guidance or personal uh, or some person whom with whom you can talk on a one-to-one -one basis so uh, if you go for a bigger institute probability says that there is much more uh, like uh, there is much more probability that you will find a person who is like you right there is much more there is a higher probability that you will find a person who shares a similar uh, mindset like you right so if you go for a bigger institute that would be, you would you would find people of different um, personalities and you there is much more uh, there is a higher probability that you will find a person who has the same mindset as you so you i i feel that you will tend to stay more happy plus in a small institute you know what happens uh, what you are doing you know people do gossip about you people do talk about you so you know it's very easy uh, for uh, for people to get influenced by others talks whereas in a bigger institute you know since it's a big institute there are a lot of students so obviously small things do not matter a lot you know people don't gossip as much as they do in a small institute so that's why i would recommend to go for a bigger institute rather than a small institute so these are some of the points that i would have to i would keep uh, <coughs> I would I would I wanted to keep sorry so these are the few points I wanted to keep in front of you now you, you are the best guide to yourself and you can decide whether you want to join an academic institute or a research institute right so these were the points I hope you found them useful if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you and I might be sweating a lot uh, that's because you know when I film the videos the fan the fan is not on so because of, because the voice then comes along with the video so that's why i'm sweating a lot right it's quite hot over here so yeah that's that's the reason that's that's the reason why i'm sweating and i don't know why i told you this but anyway so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video